everybody, Ramblin' Pam here. We made it to Bisbee this morning. Let's get out and take a look. At 5,300 foot, it was nicknamed the Mile High City. As you can see, the town is built along the Tombstone Canyon in the Mule Mountains. To say that Bisbee is known for its rich mining history is an understatement. Bisbee was one of the richest mineral sites in the world. It produced almost 3 million ounces of gold and more than 8 billion pounds of copper. Wow! In 1878, the return on copper was so great that they began smelting operations locally instead of sending it all the way to Pennsylvania. The Mule Mountains were stripped of their forests for the firewood needed for the smelters. The town was soon clouded with the fumes from the smelters. But Copper smelting was so profitable, no one dared to complain. Those who could afford it built their homes on the hills in cleaner air above the smelter clouds. The homes were so close, they say you could spit off your porch and hit your neighbor's house below. These steep staircases are all over town. We saw them everywhere. Every year they have something called the Thousand Stair Event. People race the thousand steps to the top. It sounds like a lot of fun. I wonder if they have something shorter like a 20 stair event. I might be able to do that. By the turn of the century, reportedly more millionaires were made in Bisbee than anywhere else in America. And with that growth, among other things, came Bisbee's most infamous street, Brewery Gulch, where the nearly 50 saloons and brothels sprang up. It was a fisticuffs kind of town at that time. Gunfights in the streets were a common occurrence. At one time, Brewery Gulch used to be regarded as one of the liveliest places in the West. But as we walked along these streets today, I think it might be just a little calmer these days. I thought the architecture of downtown Bisbee was really pretty. This was a fun little stop. As you can see, it's starting to rain, so it's a good time to head back to our base camp. We ended up stopping at Mario's Bakery and Cafe for lunch in Tombstone. They served up a great turkey sandwich on fresh baked bread and cookies for dessert. Back to camp, the shower subsided and we were treated to this beautiful rainbow, the perfect ending to a perfect day. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll be back out on the road tomorrow.